JMC 6 Housing here for this week's JMC Garage Talk. And in the garage is my Maverick Lariat Hybrid 2022 with about 88,000 miles on it. I've owned it for about two and a half years. And uh, in this video of the JMC Garage Talk, I had the Maverick jacked up on one side. And what I want to do is kind of get a sense of number one, what is the rust like underneath the Maverick Hybrid with two and a half years of driving 88,000 miles to North Idaho winters? What is it like underneath? What does the rust look like? And then number two, what I wanted to check out as we have it jacked up on one side, is what does it look like underneath for the engine side? Is there anything leaking? Is there anything, um, you know, that is in cause of concern as far as leaks or anything else? So I wanted to go through those two things with my Maverick just to see, just to see and to show you guys what it looks like underneath. Now, we're going to start from the back and we're going to work our way up front. Now, in the back on all Mavericks, because of the way the uh, Maverick Hybrid is designed, it is only front-wheel drive offered until 2025 model year, where Ford is rumored to offer an all-wheel drive setup for the hybrids. But currently, for the 22 to 24s, the any hybrid Lariat or any, I'm sorry, any hybrid for that matter is going to be front wheel drive only. So in the back, you're going to see a twist beam rear axle uh, with a stabilizer bar running in the center of it. Um, that is the rear suspension design, almost kind of like a solid front axle design, but it's going to twist beam rear axle. And then up front, it's going to be fully independent suspension. So let's go ahead and begin in the back of the Maverick hybrid my lariat hybrid and then we'll go from there we'll, we'll begin in the back go into the center and then we'll go uh take a look at the components up front underneath to see what they look like see if there's anything leaking or anything like that so let's begin it's my camera around i have my truck oh let me get my my trusty flashlight i have my truck jacked up and let's go ahead and take a look at this rear suspension now Again, this is a twist beam rear axle. In fact, I'm gonna mount my, my, my light on my spare tire. Again, this is a twist beam rear axle. And one of the things I wanted to focus on as we're looking at this rear axle is number one, what does it look like underneath? As you can see, this whole rear axle assembly uh, from the springs to the twist beam itself to the, uh, as you can see that bar in the center of the beam itself is the stabilizer bar all of that is pretty much rust free i mean even the shocks are in good shape there's the the rear shocks are not blown out there's no oil coming out of them and uh, as you can see right here and we'll look at this side as well yeah everything looks good let's look at the components underneath the maverick itself is a is a hydro formed uh, type of a unibody construction back here as you can see the frame itself if you so want to call it is not rusted or anything of that nature and then on the other side see the exhaust system but on the other side no rust underneath it all looks very good the components look really well they've held up these past Almost 100,000 miles. You can see a little bit of rust on the muffler there. We're going to get a better shot of that here in a little bit. But as you can see, all the components look good. Rear brakes, everything else. It looks really good underneath of this truck. No rust to speak of. So, a spare tire. Looks very good. But yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and um, go in the center. All right, I'm in the center of my Maverick Hybrid, and we're going to start from the back with the muffler. As you can see, there's a little bit of surface rust on this exhaust system, especially you can see it right there. Um, follow that up. You have the hybrid heat exchanger. Um, this heat exchanger right here gives uh, heat in the cold to the hybrid battery because the hybrid battery on the Maverick is actually water cooled and water heated. Um, so this gives heat to the cold. There's water that actually flows on the top of this thing and this heat exchanger helps to heat up the antifreeze that goes to the battery itself. 
Uh, this exhaust has in order been replaced once already. And then as we look underneath the rest of the truck here, sorry about my light there. You see the catalytic converter. That looks pretty good. There's a another cat way up front, which we'll look at. But one of the things I wanted to show you with this truck is, again, there's really no rust outside the exhaust system underneath. And even then, that is all just surface rust. And really, there's nothing component-wise that's affected underneath here. I mean, all this is, oops, sorry. All this is where the high voltage battery live underneath here. There's a brace for the high voltage battery and everything's pretty much covered up underneath here. Even the, the rocker panels are all nice and uh, good and everything else. So let's go ahead and go up front now. All right, we're in the front here underneath my Maverick Hybrid. And what I wanted to show is, as of right now, we have no leaks. This is the transmission on this side. We have some transmission cooler lines right here. No leaks out of there, no leaks out of the transmission. We're gonna get further underneath of it and look, but on the surface here, as you can tell, it looks pretty dry. The engine is nice and dry, this oil pan. Water pump, no leaks here. Let's look at the front suspension real quick before we go further underneath CV axle. On this side, we do got a little bit of, um, right there, a little bit of uh, um, grease coming out of that dust boot there, it looks like. But other than that, CV axle is not rusted in one piece. Uh, lower control arm is aluminum. And we got no rust underneath here. The other lower control arm over there, as you can see, I'm gonna get a better shot, but uh, no leaks there. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that, but all right I'm Trying to do this with one hand and film in the other Okay, so we see the other lower control arm CV axle right there kind of if you can see that We got some rust on the CV axle, but one of the things I want to look at here, and we'll just do this right here. All right, so uh, a couple things I do notice. One, this is, so right here is where the intermediate shaft comes out of this side of the transmission, and we do have a little bit of seepage around this seal. It is not actually leaking um, to the point where it's actually dripping, but there is some seepage and you can see it's a little wet around this seal and also my Intermediate shaft bearing has some grease and dust around it as well as you can see right here for this CV axle, so we see that is Leaking a little bit and then we see a little bit of seepage around this seal nothing to be too concerned about It's definitely something to maybe look after and one of the nice things about this is uh, when it comes time when this CV axle does need to be replaced you replace the CV axle and it does come with the intermediate shaft and a new bearing so all of this when you order this passenger side CV axle the intermediate shaft the axle itself the bearing and the whole uh, will all get replaced and I would think if if this axle was to start to go, then I would not only have this replaced, but also have that seal replaced as well out of the transmission, which would be a good thing to do. So, but yeah, it's something to definitely look at. And if you are a Maverick Hybrid owner, definitely check into this to make sure, you know, to see if your axle needs to be replaced or if it's on the verge of leaking or may need to be replaced something to definitely look at because this is all one piece this whole thing when you replace this it's all one piece okay let's kind of continue on further investigation here i want to look at this other side that other side looks really really good absolutely no leaks as I can see from here and uh, transmission looks dry 
again, just focusing on this right here. One of the nice thing is, is when you do replace this axle, it does come with a new intermediate shaft and a new bearing um, as well. So all that will get replaced. Um, underside, that is the, uh, that right there is the first cat. That all looks good. Everything else looks good. Again, we see a little bit of seepage right here. But other than that, everything else looks good. All the componentry and everything looks good. And no rust to speak of at all. No rust to speak of at all. So let's go out from underneath. And uh, yeah. So let's recap here. Man. Ah, awesome. That's what it's all about. And I love doing these episodes. So a couple things we learned, 80, almost 90,000 miles on this truck. I'm about, oh man, about 1,800 miles away from hitting 90,000 miles on that Maverick Lariat Hybrid. I, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get as best of a video as I can getting underneath. Uh, again, I don't have a lift or anything, so I'm doing it by my jack stands and, and my jack and all that. But I wanted to kind of give you this video to kind of show you what does a Maverick Hybrid look like after almost 90,000 miles two and a half years, two North Idaho winters, and uh, just to see what it looked like and to see if anything's leaking. And I'm happy to report, as you can see underneath there, nothing is really leaking. We do see some seepage out of that one side, out of the, the seal for the transmission. And then we do see a little bit of seepage out of that bearing, that intermediate shaft bearing for the passenger side CV axle. So if you have a Maverick Hybrid and it's getting up there in age, that's something to keep after, something to look into, you know, see how that is doing. And if you happen to notice anything more than seepage coming out of your transmission seal right there, and anything more than maybe some seepage or a blowout out of that bearing, then you know, number one, you need a new CV axle. Doesn't matter if the CV axle is good or not, you have to replace the whole thing because the CV axle and that shaft and that bearing is all one piece. It's like a $300 part through Ford, but it's all one piece. And then not only that, but then I would say go ahead and replace the seal or have the mechanic replace the seal out of the transmission at the same time as he's doing that axle. So if I was to replace the axle in this, that's what I would do. I would just go ahead and replace that one side CV axle and at the same time replace that seal that comes out of the transmission. So this way, all of it's taken care of, if you know what I mean. Awesome. Well, you guys be blessed. If you have any questions, comments, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Love to hear what you guys think about this, or maybe you have a Maverick hybrid and uh, maybe it's time to look underneath of it and uh, yeah, see what's going on and see how it looks. Awesome. You guys be blessed. Have a wonderful day and we'll catch you on the next one. Awesome.